The term PID is different from PNID. PNID means Pipe Instrumentation Diagram, and PID means Proportional Integral Derivative Actions that you have in a controller. Most, most of the chemical and petrochemical industry uses a PID controller, although not necessarily you need to have a value for the derivative part. Most of the process runs well with the proportional integral uh, control philosophy. It is the proportional band that determines how fast is the response of your system. I usually tell my students that the KP, that is the proportional band, represents how big is the opening for a control valve each time that it opens. So if you are doing your control and your KP is big, for when your valve opens, it will op open too much. And if you have flow, for instance, your flow will increase a lot. And if you reduce the KP, the chances are, depending on the other parameters, that you will do is a uh, small increment in the opening until you reach the desired set point. It's important to mention that if you have a controller that only uses the proportional band or uh, the proportional term, you will never reach this set point. You will always have an offset between the set point and the uh, value, the present value. To reach the set point, you must have the integral part of the uh, PID controller. The integral part of the PID will do calculations related to the error, and the error is the present value that you have in your variable compared to the set point that you desired, and it will be responsible for reducing this error to the steady state condition. And the main purpose of the derivative term is to predict what can happen in your variable. So it's more, most useful when you have a dead lag that is uh, when you do a change and you have a long time to have a response your system, in your system. When you have systems that are too fast, the D term of the PID is not, much, uh, is not used too much. But when we are talking about temperature control, usually we can use the derivative to have better uh, response in our control loop.